Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 556, Obstructive versus Restrictive Lung Disease. All right, now we're going to take a look at these three pictures and talk about what's happening. First, you see the normal condition of a lung in which your forced expiration volume in one second over forced vital capacity is around 80%. Now we're going to compare this normal condition with obstructive and restrictive lung diseases. Now when you have an obstructive lung disease, there is going to be higher than normal lung volumes. And the reason for this is due to the air trapping. And therefore, we know that when there is higher than normal lung volumes, the residual volume increases. So again, to summarize that, obstructive lung disease has higher lung volume than in normal. There is an increase in total lung capacity, increase in functional residual capacity, and increase in the residual volume. What would the FEV1 over FVC ratio be in obstructive lung disease? In obstructive lung disease, the FEV1 over FVC ratio is going to be under 80%. The reason being, you're not going to be able to do a maximum expiration due to the air trapping. Now next, we're going to talk about restrictive lung disease. We mentioned earlier in the chapter that restrictive lung disease is not a problem emptying the lungs, but there is just less lung volume due to the restriction. What is the FEV1 over FVC ratio observed in restrictive lung disease? The FEV1 over FVC ratio in restrictive lung disease is equal or greater than 80%. The reason it's equal to or greater than normal is because there is no problem expiring the air. The problem is that you just have less amount in the lungs. One thing to note here though that in both obstructive and restrictive lung disease, the FEV1 and FVC are reduced. But in obstructive lung disease, however, the FEV1 is more dramatically reduced compared to the FVC. And that is why you see that FEV1 over FVC ratio in obstructive lung disease being lower. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.